Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wood Sr. here. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. I pray that you're strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray that you are well aware that the God of the Bible is in charge. I'm going to tell you something. Don't you be moved by the things that you see, whether we're talking about weather, whether it's politics, finances, whatever the case may be, even that those things that you may be dealing with personally that has nothing to do with anything that I just mentioned. I want you to know that if you're walking with the God of the Bible, then the God of the Bible is right where you are right now. He's well aware of your situation and circumstance. And I want, I want to tell you something. He's working on your behalf. I want to know, my friends, what are you doing with your relationship with the Lord? Are you putting it to good use? Are you taking full advantage of it? Are you calling on him? Are you learning from him? Or are you doing like many believers today? And that is your relationship with the Lord is suffering from neglect. And the Lord is saying, hey, I'm waiting for you to talk to me again. I'm waiting for you to pray with me again. I'm waiting for you to communicate with me because I have some things to tell you. I have some things to show you. I want to make my thoughts your thoughts. I want to reveal to you my plan in the earth for you, for the, for the times in which you live. I want to draw you closer to me. Well, my friends, tonight, we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about making sure that we're making the most of our relationship with the God of the Bible. Because let me tell you, He's in charge. He has not gone on vacation. He's not missing in action. He has not been furloughed. He is not dead. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He's large and in charge. <laughs> and he's moving by his spirit as I speak. Yes. So tonight we're going to study the word of the Lord together. To be honest, honest with you, I'm glad. I look forward to being here tonight. Uh, last Thursday night we were out. My daughter, Chris, Evangelist Crystal Amanchuku, oh my Lord, she ministered the word of the Lord. That young lady is a preacher indeed. She preached while Pam and I took a few days off to get a little rest after the convocation on week before last. And during the convocation last Thursday night, that Thursday night, we had the supervisor Diane Bogan here ministering the word of the Lord. And I tell you, God used that woman of God. Well, I'm excited about being being back tonight myself and for us to be in Bible study. And we're going to study the scriptures together and see what the Lord has to say about, about, say to us and about the times in which we live. You know what I want? I want my thoughts, my thinking, my will, my drive, my inclination, my goals, my purpose, my, the things that make me who I am, I want those things aligned with the God whom I serve, who is the God of the Bible. And we're going to talk about it tonight. I'll see you tonight. Bring your Bibles. Come on time. Come ready to hear and to study and to learn. And then we're going to take what we learn and put it to good use. God bless you. I'll see you tonight.